you're new here, and we're gonna be doing a weekend in my life here in New York City. It's gonna be festive, it's gonna be fall, it's gonna be fun. Thank you so much to Abercrombie for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited. I want, I'm like so in the holiday mood right now. Like I, I can't get enough of it. So I wanted to do a little like holiday outfits try on for you guys from Abercrombie. So we're doing a try on haul and I'm so obsessed with the pieces I got and everything just kind of could be its own capsule wardrobe for the holidays in general. And you can kind of just spice it up as you please. So here's the first outfit. Um, this is a beautiful black top. It's like over the shoulder, you know, no shoulder, I guess, off the shoulder. That's what I'm starting to say. Off the shoulder, black top. And it's not a bodysuit, it's just like a nice top, but it, I feel like it kind of snatches right here. There's a zipper too, which is really nice. I really like it. I think you could pair it with jeans, or today I paired it with this really cute skirt that I'm so obsessed with. Guys, it's giving New Year's Eve. Come on. Christmas Eve, Hanukkah, like you could really do so much. A concert, give me a pair of tights and like I'm good to go. So I just think this is so cute. Top and skirt are from Abercrombie. They have other colors too, which is really nice and it's perfect. And I also have this really cute skirt. Sorry, it's a skirt. I love it so much. I think it's like, it's more of like a tailored look, which I really like. It also comes in another color if I remember correctly. I love it. It's giving Emily in Paris. I just paired it with some red shoes. It's so cute and I just feel so secure knowing that it's a skirt. So I absolutely love that. And I will also have all these products I'm wearing from Abercrombie linked here on YouTube so you can easily click and shop, which I think is an amazing feature that they have. And I'll also have more info in the description as well. But yeah, I think this is a really cute look. Again, you could pair this skirt with like a sweater if you want it or you know, the same top that I have right here. I love this look. It's a set, but it's sold separately. So if you're like, I just want the top, you can totally just get the top. Um, I think it's really so beautiful. This is also, I'm like, is it a squirt? Yes, yeah, a squirt. <laughs> it's also a squirt and I love it. It's got this asymmetrical situation happening here. It's so fabulous. I love this, again, with tights and just some little black heels. Such an easy outfit for the holidays. You could dress this up for New Year's and wear like, you know, some glittery jewelry. I think that's always so fun or like a statement earring. Or I, I just love black tops and jeans. I just don't think I ever will. Like the Abercrombie Curve Love jeans with this top and some booties, chef's kiss. So yeah, I will also have both of these products tagged, but super cute and easy, effortless, chic fit. Denim. Abercrombie has the best denim. I don't have a good pair of black jeans and I really wanted a good pair because I feel like when you're going out at night, as much as I love a blue jean with a black top, as I said, sometimes you want it to be this all black monochromatic moment. I love these because, you know, I love me some loose jeans. The pockets, like, they just fit so well. These are part of the Curve Love collection. I will ride or die for the Abercrombie Curve Love collection. I'm so thankful to them for creating it because it just makes me feel so confident in jeans. And I don't always feel confident in jeans. So I'm very thankful. These are actually straight leg on me. I feel like it's so hard to find a straight leg jean. So I love these and I just paired them with some black slingbacks and that same top. So see, you could totally just get the top, wear it with a skirt, with jeans, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, this one's a little bit more casual. I feel like super cute. Red, it's back. I'm here. We need more red. This is a beautiful red blazer dress. They also had in other colors if you're looking for like a good black blazer dress. I was attracted to this one specific because it has this belt right here, so you can really cinch in the waistline, which, so it just makes it a little bit, it's still tailored, but a little bit more feminine. I think this is great. Like, I don't know. Corporate girlies, tell me, is this too short, you think? I feel like you can wear this to the office. I don't know. Maybe you can wear like a turtleneck bodysuit underneath to make, I don't know. This is just my idea here. Or it's just so cute if you're going to like a Broadway show, going to dinner. I love this. I always feel so confident in a blazer, any sort of tailoring, and I think this looks so great. Again, I paired it with tights and some black slingbacks, but it's super cute. So if you guys like any of these looks, I wanted to let you guys in on a little, a little sale here. Abercrombie, which we all know and love, they are doing a 25% off everything sale for Cyber Week. So here are the details. November 20th through 21st, you can get early access if you are a My AF member. And then the sale opens up for everybody from November 22nd through the 27th. And if you wanna get an additional 15% off of that 25% off, you use the code CyberAF. So 
I am so excited. I'm definitely going to be shopping the sale. And if you guys like any of the pieces, again, you can use that code. Get that 25% off during those dates. Sign up for my AF. I will have all the products I show today tagged easily on this video so you guys can check it out. But So thank you again to Abercrombie for sponsoring this video. And let's get on into my weekend in my life. I literally just filmed that, took all my makeup off, and took a shower. I had my makeup on from the day and it was feeling like gross so I was like let me take it off and redo it because tonight we're having a night I also got my hair colored today nothing crazy I just always like to get the money pieces here in the front like a little bit brighter um, You'll be able to see it more tomorrow during the daytime because it gets so dark so early. It's 5 p.m And it looks like that outside um, It was like this in Florida, but I feel like the sun set at 5 30 in Florida, so like it was dark by like 6 6 30 whereas here Sun's setting at like 4 45, which is crazy. I just put these clips in because then I touch my hair and it gets all oily and Yeah, so tonight we're having a night one of my friends is in town. So naturally We're gonna go out. Um We're gonna go to Saki no Hana, which I've been really wanting to try it's a restaurant here in the city. I think it's owned by Tao Group. So, and they're always known to have a really cool like atmosphere. And then also if you have a reservation there, they give you access to Silver Linings Lounge, which is like their piano lounge. So I think that would be like a really fun night. It's gonna be me, Delaney, my friend McKenna, and Ryan's actually gonna join Ladies Night tonight as well. And then the four of us are gonna go to Comedy Cellar. I haven't been to Comedy Cellar in so long because it's so hard to get a reservation now. Um, so but we were able to get one for like the 11.55 p.m. show. Yeah, pretty crazy. So um, <laughs> we're going to that. So I was like, okay, we have to do a really late dinner so I can like stay awake for Comedy Cellar. Um, but I'm like, yeah. I've never been to this late of a Comedy Cellar showing um, and I'm like definitely gonna be drinking a dinner. So it should be a fun night. And maybe we'll go out like after dinner before Comedy Cellar or like after Comedy Cellar. We're just gonna see where the night takes us, but we're starting at 9.45. Actually, let's make an element. I had it set up for myself to make later, and now it's later. Um, I have an uh, Athletic Greens bottle element drink. So funny. Love them both. Today I'm going to drink orange salt, but um, yeah, I haven't really like drank. Actually, that's a lie. I had friends over last night for Friendsgiving. I had like two glasses of red wine. I don't even drink wine a lot, but uh, sometimes it just hits stiff. I'm like a vodka girl these days, but um. I'm feeling like a super yummy Moscow Mule will be my vibe tonight. We shall see. So I need to drink some electrolytes to kind of battle my hangover before it happens. But yeah, it's 5 o'clock, so I have 4 hours and 45 minutes till our dinner reservation. I have a lot of work to do, though, so that's why I wanted to get comfortable. I'm going to get on the couch, get on my computer, put my blue light glasses on, and I'm going to watch Golden Bachelor because... Um, it aired last night. It's fantasy suites and I'm like, what does that entail? So yeah, I'm just gonna have this show on in the background and Work and then we'll get dressed. I'm probably gonna wear one of those Abercrombie outfits tonight Because they were really cute Ooh, I love for honestly going out late on a Friday night is a move Like I think I'm into that because I can you're not like rushed to get all of your work done. I like still have things I can get done. Anyways, I'm rambling. I already know I'm gonna get questions about my nails, so here they are. Um, I actually had them a dark red color that I was really excited about for Thanksgiving, but then I was on set for something that I'll be announcing soon and, or posting about soon, and they literally had a manicurist on set and was like, you have to change your nails. So, it's this, and it's really cool. I've always wanted to do something like this. I've never had like 3D nail, 4D nails. It's a weird feeling, but she said they'll last me a good bit. And I mean, they're really pretty. They're very festive, so. Yeah, this is details if you wanna take to your nail salon. Nothing's worse than when you sit down to watch one of your favorite streaming services and you got logged out. Like, I don't wanna, like, I mean, it's such a champagne problem, but like, come on, having to do like, this on a remote. I like that now a lot of the times it's like, oh, activate on computer, which I will definitely be doing, but like, it's annoying. I switched to my cozy robe because I was cold. I just took like a 20 minute, I didn't even nap. It was like I closed my eyes. I can't nap. It just doesn't happen for me. But I'm gonna listen to like some Luke Combs and do as much cleaning as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna get ready. Well, I already showered and my hair is done because I got it done earlier. So I just gotta do my makeup. Okay, that literally took me 10 minutes. Well, I haven't put them all away yet, but 
I was feeling really intimidated, so I was like, let me organize everything by like type. So I was like, okay, skirts. I'm starting to build up a big skirt collection, aren't I? Pants to hang up, jackets to hang up, stuff like that, so that this is all now clear. And I'm going to put it back that way. And I feel like it kind of compartmentalizes everything in my brain. And I'm like, okay, this isn't that bad. Ta-da, it's done. That literally took me 10 minutes because I didn't whine about it. And I was just like, let me do this. I hate putting clothes away. That is like, I also hate putting dish away, dishes away. I'd rather like do the laundry, do my dishes, but I don't like to put them away. I don't like to put my clothes away. I don't know. That's my thing. Comment down below if you're the same way or if you're the opposite. Now to pick out my outfit for tonight, I need to decide if I want to do like black jeans with like a fun going out top or I have my black tights and if I want to do like a skirt tights moment. Well, I had decided on tights and then I just pulled them. I think the rhinestones caught on. I have to see if I have another pair of tights. I'm so sad. Okay, I'm mid getting ready right now. But I'm like, I need to have a, a sip of something while I get ready. Um, and Mom Water just came out with the cranberry lime, which is like, it's called Carol for Danielle Carolyn. And I was like freaking out. I'm still blending out my concealer, as you can see. And uh, I freaked out. And then in the mail, what do I get? Mom Water. So thank you, Mom Water. I'm so excited. Let's try this cranberry lime. Mom Water is basically vodka water. But there's no fizz. And I love a sparkling water, as you guys know. But I drink really slow. So when it comes to alcohol, I'm like, I kind of want... Like, this is ideal for me. I think I like it. I started using this new um, <laughs> fluoride mouthwash. Because I do anything my dentist tells me to. And um, it makes everything taste weird for like hours after using it and you're not supposed to eat or drink for 30 minutes after like doing the mouthwash so i always have to be strategic in when i do it um i mean ideally you do it at night before you go to bed but sometimes i like to do it during the day so anyways i think that just made that taste really weird because i did the fluoride a couple hours ago um who knew that the Charlotte Tilbury Falls filter would like change my life? I feel like it just makes your complexion look so good. I'm not for sure on my outfit yet, but I was like, I need to just do my makeup and then see how I like the outfit. Because when you don't have makeup on and you like aren't ready trying clothes on, just doesn't feel right. Ryan's on his way here right now. We're going to like Uber to the restaurant together. Um, and he always likes to come a little bit early. And he typically will sit on my couch and tell Alexa to play something and drink a beer while I finish getting ready. I think he does it so, like, I'm rushed because I'm like, oh, my gosh, like, he's here. I can't be late. And I'm not late. Like, if I have a reservation, like, I'm going to be there at the time of the reservation because I always get so scared they're going to give the uh, reservation away. So, um, it's usually, like, if it's something that him and I are going to do and we don't have reservations for. And I'm like, yeah, I'll be ready by, like, 3. And he's like, yeah, we'll see about that. So, um, I'm just going to finish getting ready. And I'll talk to you guys in a little. Makeup is done. And of course, we're listening to Drake. Okay, this is one of my more random outfits I've put together. But I actually think it's cute. Because it's like not that cold outside. But it's like chilly. And I'm trying to dress for like a swanky dinner, potentially going out. But then also comedy cellar. You know, so I don't know. Um, but I'm wearing this top. I literally wore it last weekend in Georgia. I just love it. It's like a faux leather halter top. And then I'm wearing shorts. Who is she? Because I needed it to be all leather. Like, I hate when the black's all... I don't know. Leather jacket over top. Belted it. It's a silver night. Wearing silver earrings. And then tall black boots. I might look at this later and be like, what were you wearing? But right now I'm like vibing with it. Let's see if Ryan likes it. Ryan, do you like my outfit? Yeah, what? Yeah, this is the outfit. What do you mean? Because I answered the door without the jacket on. Do you want me to freeze? Cold. <laughs> Pose don't get cold. Now we gotta pick a bag. So I can either go tried and true, which is kind of what I was leaning towards. Oh, or... 
for my other recent tried and true. Is that like too much silver? I'm kind of feeling this because I can put it on my shoulder after. Okay, I have my doubts about this fit, but I'm actually kind of liking it. Guys, Delaney's wearing those tights that look like it's skin, but they're like double lined. They're so comfy. There's like so much fur inside. I'm so warm. I love that for you. Are we excited for Comedy Cellar? No. Make them laugh, make them laugh. If you know, you know. <laughs> Do you go to Comedy Cellar enough? Oh my God, guys, it's packed. Hottest club in New York City right here. Hottest nightclub in New York City. Like, we were all sitting there, like, everyone was so funny, but like, I was just so tired. So, we could have walked back, but we're in the taxi. <laughs> but I have a headache so I got this thing from Amazon and it really does what it needs to it's I put it I leave it in the freezer take it out when needed and it just kind of puts pressure or it relieves the pressure of your headache and it's really cold after a while I have to like take a break I'm like oh that's cold brain freeze but it like really helps for some reason on the weekends I just don't follow my rule of like making the bed when my coffee's being made and I wish I did because now it's like a dark dungeon in here and I'm like oh I could just get back into bed. I got back into bed. <laughs> but I'm like not one to get back into bed because I typically make it in the morning so I don't want to ruin it. So I'm like a couch girl. But sometimes I wish I was a bed during the day girl. I feel like I would be more rested but maybe less productive. So I'm just kind of giving it a try right now and honestly, I don't know if it's for me. <laughs> It's 45 minutes later and I laid in bed and I watched TikToks, which didn't help the headache. But it's fine. We're gonna get up now. We're gonna open these blinds. I get so hard on myself though for laying down for 45 minutes and like, for what? It's freaking Saturday morning. Like, if I don't relax now, when will I? <laughs> like, I'm so hard on myself, like, oh, I, you know, it's a beautiful sunny day outside, like, I should be outside, and, like, I definitely want to go outside at some point, but I have plans later, like, I need to get better at relaxing, and that's my little moment of the day. I already showered when I, like, first woke up this morning, but I, like, wish, I almost want to shower again to wake myself up. Okay, this is gross, but, like, this is the only thing about spray tan self tans. It is so not cute looking. Thankfully it comes out right in the wash, but like if you know, you know. Update, I'm so happy with my slippers purchase. I feel so cozy walking around my apartment. And now my bed's made, yay. Okay, hi. It's a little bit later now. 
I still got my U-log playing on the TV. I am still tired, so we're gonna go get a coffee. I'm gonna go for a coffee walk with my friend Caitlin. And she's going to her like office holiday party and wanted to look for an outfit. So I was like, I'll totally come with you. And she was like, I'm kind of in the mood to go to a department store. I was like, me too. I'm kind of sitting this game day out, the dogs play today, and I would definitely be watching on my phone. But it's just like, it kind of takes out your whole Saturday. And I haven't really been in New York in a while, so, like during a weekend. So um, I'm gonna go walk and shop with her. It's a beautiful day out, it's chilly. I attempted to do like cold girl makeup. I just put on like skin tint, lots of blush, mascara, did my brows and like some lip, oh and highlighter. And that was it, and I'm actually really happy with it. Maybe I should put on like a little powder, but um, yeah, I'm happy with my outfit too. I think it's warm enough, hopefully. And then after Caitlin and I do that, I'm gonna meet Delaney and McKenna at the edge <laughs> I feel so funny saying that like I'm going to the edge I've been before it's a um, tourist attraction McKenna literally wants to go every time she's here and we haven't been able to make it work but we're gonna go today we're gonna go to the 4:30 ooh, showing showing 4:30 like slot so that we can watch the sunset from the edge it's like a newer tourist attraction in Hudson Yards and it literally is like this platform you step out onto and there's like no building under you and it's it's a little scary but it's so beautiful and you can see the whole city and I think it'll be really pretty during golden hour it was also supposed to rain today and it didn't which is so amazing because if you live in New York you know you know the last few Saturdays have been rainy at least that I've been here so very excited for it to not be raining oh I need to pick out sunglasses got my tried and true Amazon ones that honestly I just love so much or we could go with these Prada, like, rectangle ones. I think I want to do the Amazon ones. I know some people don't like tiny sunglasses, but I do. Here's my fit. I wanted to be comfortable because we're going to be walking a lot. And I also wanted to be warm because we're going to be at the edge and it's, you know, high in the sky and it's probably going to be a little windy. So I'm wearing just this, like, zipper striped pullover. You can't even see it under my hair. And then this vest, I like how it cinches in at the waist. I'm wearing thermal leggings and then um, some sneakers with my foot inserts in them so my knees don't hurt. And then I'm wearing some silver drop earrings just to dress it up. I feel like I feel like Julia Havens right now. She's so good at like elevating her athleisure wear. And oftentimes I'm like, oh, I just won't even wear makeup. And then I like half-ass it. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna dress like this, but I'm still gonna be cute, you know? This is my little guy. I love having these on. And then I'm gonna bring this purse. It fits a lot, which I really like, but it's comfortable because it can go on your shoulder. I also wanna put up my Christmas tree this weekend so that when I come back from Thanksgiving, my tree is up. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I like to do it with Ryan, but I think this is cute. Okay, bag is packed. Caitlin's gonna meet me out front. I kind of want Duncan right now, an iced Duncan, and I haven't been outside, so we'll find out if I'm gonna regret that, but that sounds so nice right now. Also, can we talk about how my background like moves? It freaked my friend out the other night at Friendsgiving. She was like, Finley keeps moving every time you get a text, and it's really weird, but it's so cute. So, anyways, I'm tired, but I feel like the only thing that's gonna cure me is if I like go outside. Got some juicy, juicy Duncan. These holiday cups are adorable.
edge. It was so much fun. And it was already decorated for the holidays, as is Hudson Yards Mall. And we were like, let's stop by Zara because it's always a fun time. Guys, look at these. They're like bomber jackets, but they're sweatshirt material. Zara just always, I always get such great style inspiration here, honestly. Hudson Yards Zara ain't too shabby. That's really cute, love that. Getting some tights, a little black, my first Black Friday deal. I got two black and one brown tight. We're outside now, it's so pretty. Look at the vessel, it's all decorated. The problem with cooking bacon is my apartment still smells like it right now. I'm so tired, I was like, guys, I need to go home for a second and do a little reset. I was nervous that they were gonna wanna go out. And I was interested before the weekend started, but I think I'm just like not well rested for some reason. I mean, we went to bed super late last night and then I'm just not really good at sleeping in. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. They were like, let's have a wholesome night. I was like, yes. So we all went back to our apartments to kind of reset. And then McKenna was like, I kind of want Italian food. And I had the idea of like, we were trying to like look on Resi and open table and there was just like nothing that looked good or like restaurants we'd heard of. So I was like, what if we just go to Little Italy, start at the beginning and then walk through and just see what restaurant catches our eye. And they really liked that idea. And Caitlin's gonna join us as well. So it'll be quite fun. I'm really tired though. I just need to like sit. I kind of want to redo my makeup, but it's probably pointless. So I'll just, add some concealer and probably put on a jacket instead of a vest. It's a little bit colder out now. I totally just took off all my makeup and redid it just cause like it felt disgusting. Like, well I literally did the same thing yesterday. Yeah, I just feel more awake that I was able to wash my face and like moisturize it again. And I just put on like some skin tint. Again, I used like the YSL skin tint and just more mascara and blush. That was it and lip product. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit for a little Italy. I changed so it was a little bit warmer. I'm just wearing like a beige turtleneck, trench coat, Uggs, bag. And then I put on these like little heart ears. Heart ears? Heart earrings. <laughs> so yeah, comfy cozy teddy bear tonight. And I'm excited. I can't wait to see what restaurant we end up at. They're all very similar, I feel. There's definitely some that are better than others. There's one that I've been to called Zia Maria. I've actually been a couple times. There's another one that I forgot the name of that's really popular, but it is a Saturday night, so we're gonna see where we can even get in. I'm also just so happy with my hair color. Like, I missed my money pieces. I like having that bright color in the front. It, like, doesn't look natural, but, like, I want that. But I think she did it in a good way where it still looks natural, but I wanted it to, like, have that stark contrast. Anyways. Let's go meet up with the gals. I'm honestly so grateful too that like Caitlin's my best friend from high school, Delaney's my best friend from college and like they love each other and that works out really well for me and I'm really grateful. I always like to bring my friends together. I think that's I think that's actually something I'm really good at is I want everyone to feel included and I want all my friends to be friends. So that is just what I did. I'm in the mood of hail cab. I'm not gonna call an Uber, we're gonna hail cab. Slay. That was so easy. Hi. I'm going to Mulberry and Broom Street, please. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 
hello from me and my cottage cheese. <laughs> I have some clothes drying from the wash right now. Mmm, the best cottage cheese. Last night was so lovely. We had the best time. I'm so glad we decided to go to Little Italy. It was just like the best way to end a Saturday night. Felt like we did something. Came back, FaceTime Caitlin again, because we were in a silly, goofy mood. We walked all the way back too, so it was like a 35 minute walk. And um, we decided we were gonna wake up this morning and go to a workout class at Equinox that I actually have never been to the Equinox in Soho. And it was so nice. Am I even in focus, hee <laughs> hee? So, it was a great start to the morning. It was really hard. And then I honestly was half-assing the whole class. Like, the, I, it was a lot more cardio than Caitlin and I expected. It was, uh, it was beyond bar or bar beyond. There was a lot of like jumping up and down and I was like not in the mood for that. I was in the mood for like more of like the little movements with the ball bangles, which we did. But there was just a little bit more cardio than we expected. Um, and then at the very end, the girl next to me, she was like, by the way, like I didn't want to bother you. I watched your videos and she was so nice, so cute. She slayed the class and I'm like, oh my God, she just saw me suck. <laughs> but you know what? Either way, I'm proud of myself for getting out there and getting a good walk in and everything. So that was a great start to the day. And then obviously I came back, I showered. It's picture day, folks. So the last two years in a row since Ryan and I have lived here, we've gone to Central Park. And there's this guy, like the long walkway to the Bethesda fountain with like all the trees and the benches. This Polaroid, get, Polaroid guy has been there every time we've gone. And so the first year was like our best photo ever. Um, and we just decided to take one and people went crazy for it. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's giving like those were my parents. Like when they were younger, I had like a varsity jacket on. This was so unplanned. We were just there, we were having a fall day, whatever. And then last year we were in Central Park just having a day and we saw the guy again. We were like, we should do it again. This one, I'm not as happy with how I look. Like I had my hair slicked back, it wasn't my side, it just, whatever. But um, we tried to like recreate it by doing it on the bench, sitting, same side. So we were like, we gotta go again. So it's picture day, Ryan and I, Ryan was like, we gotta go back and do it again. And it's a beautiful day. We're praying he's there. It's gonna be really freaking depressing if he's not, but he's always been there when we've been. I saw him actually this year, like a month or two ago in Central Park. So I know like he's around still. So funny, last year when we went, we were like, oh my God, like we're so happy you're here. We did one last year. He could have cared less. Probably so many people do this, but we love this little tradition. So we're gonna go get a third photo today. And I wanted to, you know, look cute, but. I'm gonna finish my cottage cheese. Ryan's walking here now. We're gonna take the train up to um, Central Park. Explore a little bit, take a picture. Here's the outfit I am going with. I'm just wearing like a long white, long sleeve, a long sleeve white bodysuit. This jacket with like the faux fur lining. I think it's super cute. I think it should look good because it's like a black and white photo. So I need some like contrast, some dark jeans, a little bag and some Converse. And then these are my new sunglasses from Orium Collective. She recently um, came out with sunglasses. So I bought these because I just love them. And I wanted another pair of like neutral brown sunglasses because I've been wearing lots of like brown outfits. I feel like I need to add some serum, some like hair oil to the bottom of my hair. I got my hair done, what, on Friday? So my hair's lasting through the weekend. I'm probably gonna need to wash it tonight. But anyways, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I hope this guy is there. If he's not, that's gonna really suck. Park is so lovely right now. Oh, and we got our photo and I'm happy with it. Did it? Yay! We showed the guy and having two years of the photos, he was like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> like last year he didn't care, but this year he was like, oh my god, you've come twice? Cool. Now I am cooking, making some ground turkey, broccoli, just kind of emptying out the fridge since I leave tomorrow. 
Order up. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a spoiler if you're watching Gossip Girl for the first time, so. Guys, I was literally there today and I was thinking about this scene and I didn't realize like I've been re-watching Gossip Girl for like the fifth time and it's at the wedding scene and I literally have the chills. This makes me cry every time they're meant to be together. Ah! Showered and put on my Christmas jammies because we're decorating for Christmas tonight because I want to come back from Tampa to a Christmas tree in my apartment. So I'm excited. Ryan's on his way sleeping over because we have a flight tomorrow to Tampa. I just packed. Picked out my airport outfit, just getting everything tied into a nice bow. I even put away all my clothes, which is just stunning. All my laundry is done. I want to film this TikTok where you like the transition. So I need to get all of my stuff. I keep all of my Christmas decor up here. I actually even bought like a Christmas tree bag. I also bought garland this year, so I think we put the garland <laughs> on the mantle, aka my TV console thing. Um, so I'm gonna grab everything out so I can grab an ornament to throw it. And I did an Instagram story asking you guys where I should put my tree because last year I put it there, but the mirror wasn't there, the mirror was there. I think I said that earlier in this vlog. And everyone said I actually put my tree over there, which I'm not against, however, I like how when I'm sitting on my couch, I can see my tree over there. So we're gonna play around with it. I don't hate the idea of moving my plant to my room for the holidays and putting my Christmas tree there because it looks so cute. However, then I can't see it when I'm sitting on the couch. But a lot of the times I'm sitting here, so it'll be nice to see it there. Um, so Ryan and I have done that every year together since I've moved here because he doesn't really put up a tree in his apartment. So we do it together. Um, and I'm just so happy with how this photo turned out. Like. It came out so cute. The guy was so nice. It's just such a blessing that we've been able to do that three years in a row. I'm gonna wear a Santa hat. Do you guys know about Ryan's Santa hat situation? You probably do. Every year, I can't remember if it's after Thanksgiving, I think it's December 1st. He literally wears a Santa hat every single day, no matter where we go. I don't know if he wears it. He might wear it on some work calls, honestly. But this one's mine and I think I'm gonna wear it while we decorate, unless I get too hot. But I've got like a Christmas tree candle going. We'll add this blanket again. I just took it off for like the transition so it looked more plain. But um, I'm so excited. These are all my fun little ornaments. Have this super cute one, I think my friend Harper got me that last year. I have the mini version of my mirror over there. Stuck to it. I think it was um, a store sent me this last year. It was so cute, it looks like Finley. Um, I love this one, I got it at Bergdorf's. I wanna go back to Bergdorf's and get another. I think this one might be from Bergdorf's actually. And then my mom gave me this Florida one. My mom also made me this one. And then, Ryan might have given me this. I can't remember exactly. Um, these are my specialty ornaments. And then I have this box of um, like plain gold ornaments and I kind of mix them all around. Got Michael Buble Christmas Yule log I found on YouTube to set the vibes. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. Christmas in my heart But this year I Wanna hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand you had me Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart And I can promise Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times Oh, oh, oh and the sunset is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart 
we did it, we're gonna now watch Elf. That's like a good first Christmas movie to get the season started. I love you guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I feel like this was a really wholesome vlog and I really enjoyed taking you guys along my weekend. After this video, there will be no videos until, actually, I have an announcement. I'm doing Vlogmas, it's happening, I'm doing it. I'm doing very similar to what I did the last, I think like the last two years where I'll be vlogging I think the first 14 days of December. So get excited. Um, there'll be, I'll explain more of the scheduling on that because we go to Texas at one point for live shows. But get excited. So I'll be taking a little break from a break. This will be like a week until videos every single morning for, or every single day for you guys. So I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching my videos. Um, make sure to go follow me on Instagram, TikTok. So I'll be posting a lot more on there during Thanksgiving week and just up until I'll be posting Vlogmas. And then I'll be back here posting every single day. So love you guys, subscribe if you guys are new here and I'll see you next time, bye.